The Los Angeles Dodgers travel to New York for Game 3 of the World Series and what amounts to a must-win for the Yankees. We'll break it down for you with a money-making opportunity on a player prop. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I have a great promo code to share with you towards the end of the video to save you some money on season-long football packs. But for now, if you guys enjoy this content, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the Wager Talk channel, and let us know in the comments section what are your MLB picks for Game 3 or even Futures for the World Series. I'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. So we got Game 3, LA at New York. First pitch, 8.08 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Yanks currently minus 128 on the money line. Dodgers plus 142. Total sits at an even 9. Dodgers come out on top again in Game 2, 4-2. to two. Yanks had a chance late to tie things up or even take the lead. However, they fell short. Another Freeman bomb. Soto will hit a home run as well, but Freeman is on a different planet right now. Uh, he even had that triple in Game 1 on the bad ankle. Obviously, the game-winning Grand Slam. Another home run to his credit, though. He's building his resume for the World Series MVP if the Dodgers can finish this thing off. Big news coming out of Game 2 was the Otani shoulder injury, obviously. However, Dave Roberts seems like he's, he's going to be ready to go. Um, I fully expect him to play. How effective he'll be, that'll remain to be seen. But we'll see Otani out there in the lineup, I'm sure. And we got two righties going toe-to-toe -to -toe in this one. Neither pitcher has pitched in quite a while. We got Walker Bueller going for the Dodgers. And Clark Schmidt going for the Yanks. They're going to go up against lineups that are top two in OBA and walk rate against right-handed pitching on the year. Like we said, Bueller has not pitched in 12 days. Last time out, four scoreless in New York against the Mets. However, he was beat up by the Padres in the prior start. I mean, actually, it was really one inning. He allowed six runs in the inning, but he did have five uh, total innings there, four shutout innings, and then that one where he got really clubbed by the Padres. That all adds up to an 0-1 record. And then six flat postseason ERA. On the other side of things, Clark Schmidt. He hasn't pitched himself in 11 days. Last time out, pretty solid start. He allowed two earned runs across four and two-thirds in Cleveland. And uh, he has no record in the postseason, but he has a 3.86 ERA. Schmidt will be the focus of this video, really. I do lean towards the Yankees winning this game just out of desperation. Uh, they're pretty heavily favored in this one. And um, I think they do have a slight edge here in the starting pitching. I'm, it's not a an official play for me. We did take the Dodgers to win the series. However, I do lean towards the Yanks uh, pulling this one off their first home game. There's a lot at stake for them in, in this game. However, let's focus in on Schmidt. Dodgers uh, middle of the pack strikeout team during the regular season about 22 percent they've really improved since september 1st when they've had like their full lineup at their disposal and uh they're down to 18.8 percent .8 since then that's number two in the mlb uh the second lowest strikeout rate during the postseason of any team as well they hit schmidt's pitch mix pretty well so i expect them to have to get on schmidt a little bit in this one. He's only had two and four strikeouts so far in the postseason. And I see Aaron Boone. This is a must win for the Yankees. I expect a quick hook on Schmidt. I love this number at under four and a half strikeouts on Schmidt. You can get it on minus 125 over at DK. Like I said, I lean towards the Yankees money line. However, this play, this is a great play. Uh, it's a client play for me. I do have another play posted at sports memo as well but clark schmidt under four and a half strikeouts will be our official play for the video like i said dodgers improving their strikeout rate against right-handed pitching they hit his pitch mix well he hasn't eclipsed it yet in two starts and i don't expect him to be out there much past uh four innings i'd say five at the absolute max if you guys use the code fball50 
gets you $50 off an NFL or college football season pass. Uh, we're on a nice little run in college football. Four of our last five, we hit our play this weekend. 17-9 and nine lifetime in college football. We aren't in action tonight, actually, for Monday Night Football. I'm taking a pass on that game. There's nothing that I really like, but we are in action in the MLB. Like we already mentioned, 5-0 and oh MLB run, and we have an NBA play up as well. Profit in five of the first six days of the NBA season. Number one in the NBA for player props thus far. And we finished number one in the NBA postseason as well. I still have the season pass till the end of the month. You get the NBA season pass for $499. That's $246 off. The normal price, it's a smoking deal, takes you right through the NBA Finals. And I have a great track record so far in the NBA this season and last season as well. I'd encourage you guys to go check that out. As always, there's a link to my plays in the pinned comment. I always have free plays posted at Sports Memo and at X at Steve's Book 22. Clark Schmidt under four and a half strikeouts is our official play for the video. If you guys enjoy this content, drop a comment and hit the like button on the way out. Good luck, and I'll see you for the next game.